Welcome back, Lama Rink, North Andover, Mass. BU and Merrimack, delighted to have you with us. A huge hockey East matchup. BU at the top of the hockey East standings. Merrimack is third. Dylan Peterson, the St. Louis Blues draft choice, lost the puck to Slava Demon in the middle of the Welsher. Far circle shot right on, save Canesso. And he will cover it up. Nice chance for the Warriors there. Here's Demon near circle. Demon looking, sending the puck down low in front. Capone to the goal. Score! Matt Capone gives Merrimack the lead. The Warriors strike first at the 5.30 mark. Big goal for Merrimack. And they're on top. Matt Capone gets the puck here. He's going to be drafted this year. You keep an eye on him, number 21. Alex Jeffrey sets it up there. Capone right in front made a little move with the puck. Didn't let the shot go right away. Made that little move to fake him out and then lifts it up high for the goal. 5.30 is the time of the first period. Merrimack on the board first. They lead one to nothing. Now Dennison uses the glass. Looking for Messner. He's got Liebold cutting to the net. And Liebold right to the goal, backhander. Camesso got a piece of it. Rebound, Master save. Seifert scores on the rebound. Jordan Seifert at 14.35. Merrimack wide wound up with an odd man rush. And it was Seifert who finished it off. 2-0 Merrimack. This is the line we talked about earlier in the night, the most consistent one tonight for Merrimack. These guys do not know how to quit. Messner, Liebold, and then Seifert ends up scoring the goal. You see Messner just powers his way past the man. He's able to get the puck in deep. Liebold works it as well, and then Seifert's there to put the puck in the net. Mer Chance that was coming back the other way for one. Tuck with a shot. That's blocked. Liebold. I just didn't think Merrimack controlled that power play very well. Over the line to Seifert. He's in alone. Score! Messner finishes it off on the assist from Seifert. You talked about the next goal, Mike. It's big, and it belongs to Merrimack. 3 nothing Warriors. That line, number four on your line charts, number one then. <laughs> Certainly Scott Borick's heart, heart but uh, they pick up their second goal of the night. Yeah, that line has brought so much energy this season, and you saw it again there on that play in tonight. Every shift, it seems. 50 seconds to go on the power play. BU has it. Brown fires. Sabor Gill score on the rebound. Well, the Terriers finally break through on the power play. The goal will come at 10 37 here in the third period. Boston University is on the board. Jay O'Brien will get credit for the goal, Mike. And they keep it in the zone there, which was really a key. They had some tired penalty killers out there. That unit had done a nice job of moving the puck around and creating pressure and you see with the first shot from Brown and then it's the glass BU will retain possession Messner will fight for it Terriers get it below the goal line 30 seconds to play Messner with the steal down ice game over the Terriers will have possession here as we will wind down to the final horn and the Merrimack Warriors snap their three game losing streak as they defeat the Boston University Terriers here on home ice. Four to one, three big points for the Warriors.